Good evening. I am here at Monday night's dinner, which is a dinner for all commissioners and guests at General Council, as well as special guests. Tonight is our Embracing the Spirit Gala Dinner, where we are welcoming Embracing the Spirit embracing the spirit grant recipients to join us and to tell the stories of their ministries. So today, tonight, I am joined by Rebecca Charbonneau from Raw Carrot Social Enterprise in Paris, Ontario. Welcome, Rebecca. Thank you, so nice to be here. Can you tell me a bit about Raw Carrot? What is it? Yes, so the Raw Carrot started out as a social enterprise that was to assist people to find meaningful employment through cooking gourmet soup. Hmm. And the people that we hire are on the Ontario Disability Support Program. Um, we have turned from a social enterprise into a social franchise. So we now have three Raw Carrot locations, uh, one in Paris, Ontario, one in Mount Forest, and one in Kitchener. That is so fantastic. So you were a recipient at the very first Toronto Social Innovation Challenge. And that was three years ago, four years ago now? Yes, three years ago. And what a growth since that time. What have you learned? over the time that you have not only started Rock Carrot, but watched it grow with franchises now. Yeah, well, it's been super exciting to watch it grow. Um, the Social Innovation Challenge was a huge step for us initially. It was the first funding we ever had, and so it really was the impetus to get us on our way. And that vote of confidence um, was just the step we needed and the confidence we needed to say, yeah, we can do this, and to start then partnering with other churches who were interested in the same concept. So that really was the beginning, like a bit of a spark that led to um, us partnering with other churches and to franchise from there. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I'm joined now by Reverend Christine Smaller, Minister at Birchcliff Bluffs United Church in Scarborough, Ontario, and pivotal in starting Toby's Place, a ministry of Birchcliff Bluffs, and one of our new ministries in the United Church of Canada. So welcome, Christine. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about Toby's Place? Absolutely. Toby's Place is an incredible space in Scarborough. It's Right now, it's the only safe space drop-in for LGBTQ youth in that area. And uh, we meet every Monday night, and there's lots of great things going on, as well as uh, access to help, homework help, help med med uh, navigating the medical system, all that kind of stuff. And so Toby's Place was started actually out of an affirming ministry pro That's process. Right. That's right. When I arrived at Birchcliff Bluffs United Church, which is a great congregation, by the way, uh, they had just finished the affirming process. So I asked them, what do you want to do as an affirming church? And they told me that there's no safe space for LGBTQ youth. So it was a no-brainer. It was a no-brainer to decide to do it. Yeah. It was a bit challenging to get it going. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and so a great example of a, a ministry that went through one of our church processes mm -hmm. and then said, no, we're not just going to put a rainbow sticker on our door, but right. what are we going to do with this? How right. are we going to live into this? Yeah, so it's serving the community, really, because going through the affirming process is really to serve better. And uh, so this was, it's just taken off. The community has been so supportive. They recognize the need. And in fact, I think that one of the the big um, pieces of Toby's Place, the gaps that it's been filling is we have been uh, advertising in the neighborhood, networking with neighborhood folks and letting them know that, that we need a lot more safe spaces in Scarborough. Thanks so much, Christine. Thank you. I am joined by Patrick Dugan who is representing the Odessa Fellowship based out of the United Church of Christ in the United States. One of our partner, uh, full communion partner churches, right. as well as a partner program with Odessa. So yes. welcome, Patrick. Well, thank you, thanks for having me. Can you tell me a bit about Odessa? So Odessa Fellows is a program sponsored by the United Church of Christ. Um, that uh, is a, uh, it's a new wave, I would say. Uh, we call it a catalytic experience for emerging entrepreneurs, spiritual entrepreneurs. And what we've done through Odessa is to identify 14 spiritual entrepreneurs who have launched uh, spiritual enterprises. Some of them kind of look like churches, a lot of them don't, but they have the objective of advancing the mission of the church. And uh, we're our first year in, not quite a year in, and it's been an exciting experience. 
And part of the Odessa experience is not only providing uh, mentorship and resourcing for the fellows, but also in-person gatherings. Is that yes. is that right? Yes, we've had uh, two of three retreats okay. where the Odessa fellows grad, uh, gather with faculty members, guest speakers, and other entrepreneurs to learn about you know how you do this and uh, mostly to um, um, refuel from one another. Each Odessa fellow also has a coach who's actually working with them on their business model or their plan to help them move wherever from wherever they are to another point in the, in the process. Fantastic. Thank you so much thank for all you, you do and thank you for chatting. Thank you. Thanks.